Hello, Josh and Joe here from PH Tennis. And we're excited about 2024, aren't we, Josh? We love 2024. 2024. We love everything it has to bring. Got big things coming. No more so than rackets. And as you know, we love a new racket, and especially quarter one, the first few months oh. of 2024. Corporate speak. Some fantastic rackets on the way. Yes. And some also some, some more subtle kind of potentials later on in the year that we're not we don't have 100 percent details on yet but we're um, pretty certain but we're though. pretty sure we think there might be some exciting things in the works what was that there's a wave of something intriguing to oh, come wow <laughs> so uh if we go chronologically sure. Janu yeah. january well this is going to test my memory of when rackets are releasing so maybe let's not do that but roughly in january at the start of the year um we have a new head speed. Very exciting. Um, head love bringing out new speeds. Yeah. Uh, every 18 months to two years on the dot, you will get a new, an, a, another black and white speed. Yeah. Um, Oxetic 2.0 though. Yes. So there is some improvements in that technology. It comes down into the handle a bit. Um, I have seen it. It does look very sharp. Um, we will be play testing it very early in January. Um, so watch this space for our review on that. Yes, very excited about that. It's not a racket that I love, but I do love Orgetic. I do love the 2.0 version of Orgetic, so I'm hoping that this gives me a little bit more love for the speed. Yeah. Interesting. So uh, forget the chronological idea. Let's stick yeah. with brand. So within yeah. head, we then have the, you got this. Oh. What's that? That is the boom. That is the boom. The Coco Goff yeah. racket of choice. The boom is coming. No, no. Wow. the Coco Goff endorsed racket. Oh, so, okay. Let us not get in wow. trouble with the wow. people. The people. So, uh, yes, the boom is coming, a new version. Again, exactly Have you seen the new colour? No, but I do know there are two colours. There are, and I've seen them both. Um, there is the main line colour, which is very similar to what it is with the black and the kind of tealy um, green. Let's look at the Tiffany colour. Tiffany colour, my wife likes it. Sure. And the new, it's actually called Celeste is uh, the new uh, colour. I don't know what that means or what colour that well, is. Well, if you're um, familiar with Bianchi bikes... I'm not. That they have a classic colour and that colour is called Celeste, which is very close to that. Well, there you go. So it is a two-tone colour in the alternate boom, which is the one that I believe Coco will be using. So in that boom, uh, in the two colourways, there is in the MP, uh, which is kind of the main standard one, the two new colours, the Celeste and the classic colour, um, the mainline colour. And then there is obviously or the pro above that. So. That's head, we think, for the whole year. We've got a sneaking suspicion there might be a little extreme coming. I reckon end of year. End of the year, because to only have two releases, January, March, they'll be bored. Right. October, November, surely they'll bring out a new extreme, because uh, that would have been in for a couple of years by that yeah. point. And a really nice racket. Yeah, we think it'll be as good as the last one, which won our coveted racket of 2022. <laughs> it did, it holds the trophy aloft. Yes, it does. Um, yes, very good. What about Wilson? Wilson got anything coming? Wilson do have a couple of things coming. Okay. Um, now, in fact, in two of their more established ranges, the first one is a very uh, under wrap, under wraps, under lock and key. Mm. We have very vague rumours on it, um, and it big. is, and it is a new Pro Staff RF, the oh. Roger Federer Autograph version, um, and it's whether. You're really link, really milking the teas, aren't you? <laughs> um, and it's, yeah, and that's it. And uh, it, of all of this and purposes, Roger himself is in the lab testing and playing and Nothing styling. Else yeah, exactly. He's just there sitting, collecting his Uniglo contract. Yeah. And, is he Uniglo? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, nothing else to do. Apparently he's very hands-on uh, with the design, with the spec. As you'd expect from a man of meticulous taste, I'm sure the racket will be fabulous, albeit almost impossible to play with. <laughs> so then, the Wilson's kind of main core franchise racket, the Blade, um, a racket that we love, been around for a long, long time in lots of different iterations. The new one is called the Sharper Blade. Oh. That is, uh, so I'm excited because I love sharp things. Yes, absolutely, so. yeah. And, and I assume it's shiny like the last one, and I like shiny things. Now, I haven't seen it. I wasn't here when Wilson brought it in, so I've been told it looks very nice, and it, and it comes with a matching shoe. Yes. Um, it's a darker green, I believe. Is it? Yeah. 
mm. sort of lessy, less of the sort of orangey brown sort of second tinge oh, okay. in it, as I, as I understand. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Again, we'll be getting it early so we can test it, so we can review it, so you guys can get all the information you need so you can buy loads of them when they're out. Yonex, the fine tennis racket manufacturers out of Japan, have a new racket coming soon too. Ish. Yeah, ish. It's, it's a it's a new paint job. Yeah, but it's a great paint job. It's a great paint job, which is unusual for your next. Yeah, on a, on a fantastic <laughs> racket. Think the V Core Galaxy. What was it called? Oh, it was called the Galaxy. Yeah, V Core Galaxy. Yeah. That sort of ilk, but in an E zone. Ooh, we have seen this, and so Yonex are very, very careful about this. So the rackets are covered in a, in a, I think it's GBR to show where it was from. And uh, when when they get it out and show us, they make sure that no there's no security cameras can see it, there's no phones can see it. Um, if any photos get leaked, and they know where it was from based on the code that's stamped it's over that the racket. Next quality control uh, love, is they're all over it. I, um, it. I do have you have quite a good story of the, when that original V Core, the red one came out, mm. and we were at an event with TFO, and everyone was playing. You had to sign a non-disclosure. Um, and then that morning, Leighton Hewitt had already posted a picture of it because he'd oh, given Leighton, one. Oh, <laughs> scamp! And honestly, the Japanese were not happy. Does it look similar to the Regna, which is obviously very, very black, it's just matte mm. and gloss black? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit to that. It's kind of a blacky, silvery. It's very nice. It's a, it's a, it looks better than the current Ezo. So both colours will still be available. That's important to add. It's an addition alongside rather than a replacement. Yeah. Um, and only in limited. Um, Wait, so example, the 98 Tour, which uh, this man does like, is not going to have the new colour option. So you're going to have to stick with your blue, I'm afraid. So or sad times. come back to a 98 like a regular person. Mm. I'll think about it. Yeah. Most exciting news for me of the year, which I only found out very recently. Mm. And actually, right now, we're supposed to be seeing it for the first time until they cancelled the meeting. Yeah. So, but you get to, we get to make this video instead. Wee oui, wee. Oui. And it is the 30 year anniversary of the Pure Drive. Yeah. The Babalat Pure Drive gets a, what I would expect to be a sort of throwback look. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't I, care. I, 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 just, I just want it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will be using it. I'll be enjoying it. And uh, yeah, and I hope those people will like it too. So new Babalat Pure Drive coming, as well as a new Babalat Pure Strike, a full range of new Pure Strikes. Now yes. this has been that a been long ages. time coming. It's been so long. This is probably the racket most COVID affected of all. Um, is, that, is that right? Well, it must be because that was when it was due. Like it's, it's yeah. four years old now. Imagine um, all the research though, it must be perfect. Well, we've seen it, we saw it at Wimbledon, didn't we? We did, yeah, we saw it at Wimbledon. Um, and I think it looks great. It's got, a, it's got a bit of shift vibes for those, if you like the shift colorways, it's kind of got similar, yeah. sp similar color vibes to that. Um, and there's two new models that are particularly interesting. There's a 97, um, which is essentially like a tour version of it. Um, so this will go with the Aero 98 and the Pure Drive 98 is the kind of proper tour spec players range. Yeah. And there's also a new, the 100 has had a slight change and I think it's going to be a little bit Wilson shifty mm -hmm. in its level of flex and comfort and playability, which is quite unusual for a strike because they're normally yeah. quite stiffened and small head size so those are the two within the range that i'm interested to try yeah. but i think the kind of classic 1619 yeah. will be the one um so it's the old one yeah so in terms of what they've done with the design from what we remember this dark gray is gone and you've now got actually more of a sort of brighter orange on both on both sides of the racket Was it on both sides yeah so it's huh. orange across both sides and this is toned down a lot much more simple Sort of streamlined design on the side. They've kind of stripped it back a little bit, uh, calmed it down, given it that sort of classy look that you'd expect from a classy racket. Yeah, it's certainly a much. It's definitely a cosmetic upgrade, but I think it's hard when you've got a racket that's so old in relative terms, it does just look dated and tired you've seen it on the shelf for so long. Mm -hmm. um, so a definite need for Babalat to upgrade that and, and give it a refresh, which yes. they're doing. So we should get that around February. Uh, very excited to give them a try. Those are the rackets we are most excited about 2024. By most excited, I mean all the rackets that we know of that are coming out in 2024. Yes. But we tennis nerds are excited about rackets. We are, and we were just discussing off camera what we think will be the best of them all. So when we come to the end of 2024 and we're doing our top five rackets of the year, where we think they'll all sit. Um, and personally, I think Strike and Blade are going to be 
toing and froing at the top. Not a repainted E zone. Unlikely, although a very good wreck at the E zone. <laughs> don't get me wrong, um, but probably won't classify as new. Okay, I'm afraid. Um, I'm going to say I think it's going to be the blade. I think it might be the Boom Pro. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Or the pure drive, or the pure drive 30th anniversary. I, mean, I, I think actually, if I'm most excited about what any of those records, I think it's probably the strike because it's been so long. Yeah. So I, in a way, I kind of hope that it's been worth the wait, and I hope that that is the yeah. best racket of this and, year. And to be fair, the current strike is a very good racket. Yes. Um, it's just been around for so long that I think people almost forgotten. There's a lot of people that use it. Um, yeah. And yeah, a lot of people that really enjoy it. So there you have it. Get on court and start playing. <laughs>